doctor, a lot of talk about concussions lately. Can you explain just exactly what that is? What happens to the brain when someone has a concussion? By definition, a concussion is a transient or temporary interference with neurological function. So it, it's a very broad de definition associated with mechanical forces to the brain. So it can be from any traumatic injury. Uh, there's a temporary shutdown in the electrical activity of the brain. Uh, in that case, there may be unconsciousness, but that only happens in about one out of ten cases. Nine out of ten concussions are not associated with loss of consciousness, which is a, uh, something that's misunderstood by the public. More so in the past, not now. We're much more aware that a transient disturbance, a ding, uh, may be associated, is associated with a concussion. The problem is the post-concussion syndrome that occurs in a 10 to 15 percent of in kids at sports. Mm -hmm. So that in the great majority of cases, this clears the concussion and the symptoms, the headache, the nausea, the blurred vision, which are common symptoms, clears within one to seven days. In a small subset, however, five, 10, 15 percent, there may be lingering symptoms which are associated with impaired memory difficulty learning, difficulty focusing and concentrating, sleep disturbances, headaches, nausea, maybe some blurred vision and vestibular problems, balance problems. Mm -hmm. These are the ones that uh, seemingly at times from a, a seeming mild blow to the head, a lacrosse stick, mm -hmm. a soccer ball, uh, can, re can result in relatively long-term symptoms, even being pulled out of school, not, uh, not because they can't focus or concentrate enough. Mm -hmm.